Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meezy69, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we have Blast from the Past. Uh, we're going to look at the SP1C. Yes, believe it or not, this is uh, a Blast from the Past. Now, as I said in my previous Blast from the Past episode, we're going to look at tanks that are still around in the game, uh, but they're not quite as good as they once was. And I'm not just going to look at thing tanks that uh, had a little change. I want to really make this series like tanks that used to be insane or, or really, really good uh, that are just now kind of average. Um, so, yeah, we're not just going to look at any old tank. Like, you know, the first season or the first series when I had a look at the Rudy. Back in the day, the Rudy was such a good tank. Now, you don't ever see it. Uh, and plus, it's not great. Uh, the same with the SP-1C. When this tech tree line was first uh, introduced into the game, when it was first implemented, the whole line was crazy. I mean, you've got the tier 4, the Lux, you've got the tier 5, the Leopard, the tier 6, the VK-2801, and then you had this bad boy, the SP-1C. Nowadays, people would probably look at me thinking, Meaty, what the F are you talking about? It's a freaking SP-1C. How could this have ever been insane? Well, it was. It really, really was. If you played this in a platoon, two of these in a platoon, you would cause havoc, honestly. Uh, Wargaming changed it like a few years ago, like quite a few years ago, but... It's never, since then, it's never been the same tank. I mean, they, they did change a few things. I'm not sure entirely. I can't, it was years ago now. Uh, but they changed the DPM. They changed the reload. Uh, maybe the speed a little bit. But yeah, it, this was just so much fun. It's always been an auto loader uh, with the two shells. Um, the fact that you could have gone 60 plus kilometers an hour in a platoon, two of you going together, um, and smashing an enemy with one shot and then sort of two seconds later i think it might have even been sort of two or one and a half seconds in between each shell you used to do like it used to be so much fun um nowadays you just see this tank as the tank that gets bullied because that is what it is it is the tank that gets bullied um especially if there is a, a dracula coming running at you Everyone driving a Dracula and they see an SP-1C in front of them, there's only one thing on their mind, and that is a ram. I want to ram that guy because it's fun. And you can almost kill an SP-1C with a ram. Um, so, yeah, it's just known now as the tank that gets bullied. And that's... Used to, I mean, it used to always be the same uh, if someone was driving it that didn't really uh, know too well how, how to drive it. But if you knew how to drive the tank, if you knew how to not sit in uh, the same position, using it as a light tank, um, rushing around, I mean, you would cover more ground in this tank than you would any other tank in the game, because that is what the tank was. You know, you'd rush to a certain position, uh, fire your magazine, rush to a different position while you're on a reload. You know, it used to be so much fun, and the enemy just couldn't keep up with where you were. One minute you would be spotted here, and then 10 seconds later, you're spotted the other side of the map. And that is what this tank used to be able to do. Uh, but yeah, it can still do that to certain extents, but nowadays it really isn't as fun. Uh, as it used to and um, majority of the time you will get wrecked you know if there's a few tanks all sitting there in a row everyone would go for the sp1c everybody would load up the, the he uh, because it hasn't got spool liner um i would probably like to see this tank maybe with spool liner um and then you know, yes, people shooting it with HE, you're going to do less damage, but it gives that option. You know, you either run the spool liner or you don't run a repair kit. You know, if you if you run a spool liner, you can only take one repair kit um, or you don't. Well, no, you could actually use both uh, repair kits, to be fair. But uh, I personally would like to see it with spool liner because it is a tank that gets bullied. You know, like the, the Borzik or the Grill, the Waffle. Uh, as soon as a tank stares at you, I, I want to go for that tank. You know, because I could do more damage. I can shoot him anywhere and do a lot of damage. You know, if I'm in a smasher and an and a SP1C comes out, I'm, I'm going for that guy. If I'm in a Dracula and the enemy have an SP1C on, on, on their team, I want to ram that guy. Uh, so that, that is what the tank is now. But 
yeah, years ago when this tank was first released, like the whole line. Of course, it used to be uh, the Leopard, the Leopard PTA leads on from uh, from this tank. Uh, no, sorry, the Indian Panzer leads on, leads on for this tank. Then the uh, Leopard, and then the Leopard One. Uh, yeah, and the Tier Four, the Tier Five, the Tier Six, and this tank were all crazy they were all insane uh the tier 5 leopard wow that was insane the lux the tier 4 my, my one of my most played tanks in the game can that because that is how fun the tank was and this was the same you know if we wanted to play tier 7 we would go in this tank and honestly like because when this tank was first uh, released we didn't have all these premium tanks you know we didn't have the smashers we didn't have the draculas at the time um so yeah it, it was you had nothing sort of apart from a su 152 and a, and a kv2 in tier 6 that was really it that was really it that was the only couple of tanks that could really hurt you um but yeah unless that is unless you didn't kill them first with you and your platoon mate and of course when you come up against tier eights then you you do struggle a lot more so uh yeah still it can be a fun tank to play of course it can be a fun tank to play but you've got to play it right and it really isn't as fun uh, as it once was honestly uh, if those of you that come around that have been around since this tank was first released like hit me up in the comments below who was who was around who got this tank when it was first released because you guys must know just how good this tank was um so again now if I want to play tier 7, I will look through all my tier 7s. Yeah, I fancy playing this or I fancy playing that. The SP-1C isn't one of those tanks that I ever fancy playing. Uh, but yeah, back when it was released, it was like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to take out an SP-1C uh, just for fun. Um, now people will only ever play this tank if they're grinding. And I don't think it should be like that. And I hate it when it is like that. A tank shouldn't be uh, played just to grind. It should be played because you want to have fun. It should be fun to play. Uh, so there is too many tanks out there. Tech tree tanks that are only okay. And as soon as you've grinded the next line, you never play it again. And there's just so many tanks like that. And I just, it's a shame, you know. I do honestly think Wargaming should give these tanks some love, you know. Make it really, really strong. Make it have a good alpha. Or, um, you know, I, I don't know how they'll change it. Keep the armor. Yeah, because that is what makes the tank the tank. Uh, keep the armor. Keep the size. Uh, but maybe make it, ha let it have higher alpha. I don't know. I, I don't know what could be changed to make it better, but I definitely think Wargaming should give these kind of tanks a bit more love. You know, tanks that used to be really good that are now either average or really bad. I do think Wargaming should take a look at that and uh, rebalance them somehow. Make them want to be played again and that is all i'm asking. Make these kind of tanks want to be played again because right now people do play them but only because they are grinding and they have no choice to play them. So let me know your thoughts on the SP-1C. Was you around? Was you around when this was uh, first released? Uh, do you like it now? Let me know in the comments below. But for now, hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. I'm Meezy69, and I will catch you all soon. Bye-bye.